good afternoon. Hi, my name is Christine Kingston. I'm a grateful three-year recovering addict, and I come to you to read to you the Day by Day by Hazelton, the Daily Reflections by Narcotic by Alcoholics Anonymous, and the Just for Today Daily Meditation by Narcotics Anonymous. And I read these so you don't have to. And I also read these for my mental health because um, it helps me throughout the day um, tackle any problems that I may come across or um, another day that um, will help me gain insight on some of the situations that may arise during my day. And, um, well, let's get into the reading. Today is October the 21st. Sorry I missed yesterday readings. I might do these readings um, every other day to keep on a schedule and then go back to every day um, because my life has been so hectic. So please bear with me and I hope you guys get some useful information out of this. Okay, October the 21st out of the day by day, expressing good. Often we find ourselves thinking that it's important to complete a good number of human tasks rather than how much good we can express. If our tasks are interrupted or thwarted, these should be not be seen as frustrating delays in completing human plans but as opportunities to glorify God. Our primary task each day is to express the nature of infinite spirit. A day clean can be considered fruitful if its spiritual demands are recognized and fulfilled. Responding to setbacks with peace and love is much easier than much easier when we recognize that our main job is in life this in this life is to express good. How much good have I expressed today? Father, help me to remember throughout the day that there is no task or plan more important than expressing your love. And that's something that I do every day is when I get up, I thank God for waking me up because someone didn't. And um, I try to be thankful and grateful for all the things that I have and for things that I don't have because um, we all can be thankful that we're clean and sober. So moving along with um, the Daily Reflections by Alcoholics Anonymous, October 21st, nothing grows in the dark. We will want the good that is in all of us, even in the worst of us, to flower and to grow, as Bill sees it, page 10. And that's out of the Big Blue Book. With the self-discipline and insight gained from participating, practicing step 10, I began to know the gratification of sobriety, not as mere abstinence, absenting, abstinence, from alcohol, but as recovery in every department of my life. I renew hope, regenerate faith, and regain the dignity of self-respect. I discovered the word and in a phrase, and when we were wrong, promptly admitted it. Reassured that I am no longer always wrong, I learned to accept myself as I am, with the new sense of miracles of sobriety and serenity. And yes, I've learned to accept myself for who I am. And, um, yeah, I've learned to accept myself for who I am. So, moving along to today's, um, Just for Today Daily Meditation by Narcotics Anonymous. Please forgive me, I've forgotten my glasses. I don't know where they're at. They're somewhere in my bedroom, and I'm in my beauty room. God's will today. This decision demands continued acceptance, ever-increasing faith, and daily commitment to recover. IP number 14, One Addict's Experience. And that's out of the um, pamphlets that we give out to um, people who come into the rooms. Sometimes we, re we really live the third step, and it's great. We don't regret the past 
we aren't afraid of the future, and we're generally pleased with the presence. Sometimes, though, we lose our vision of God's will in our life. In our life, Many of us dream of erasing the mistakes of our past, but the past cannot be erased. Many of us are grateful this is so, for our past experiences have brought us to the recovery we enjoy today. By working the program, we can learn to accept the past and reconcile our lives, ourselves, with its with it by amending our wrongs. Those same 12 steps can help eliminate our worries over the future. When we practice NA principles on a daily basis in all our affairs, we can leave the results up to our higher power. It seems as though our members with the strongest faith are the ones who are best able to live in the present moment. Enjoyment, appreciation, and gratitude for the quality of our lives. These are the results of faith and life and in life itself. We practice the principles of our program. Today is the only day we need. Just for today, I will make the most of the day and trust that yesterday and tomorrow are in God's care. And yes, um, I live in the now and not in the past or tomorrow. I try to take it a day at a time. And that's what we all should do is take it a day at a time because um, projecting too much into the future could cause us some mental um, issues. So um, with that being said, I'm going to close with the serenity prayer. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference just for today. And remember, guys, this is not the only thing I do. I do unboxings of subscription boxes. I do get ready with me's. I do hauls. Um, I also have face masks Saturday night and um, at live. I'm live at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so come out and see if you can't win you something. Um, I try to have a giveaway on my face mask Saturday nights, so come out and see if you can win something. So with that being said, I love you lots, and you have a great day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.